Well, believe it or not, there are a few thousand condos in prime San Francisco neighborhoods that are actually selling for under half a million dollars. You can buy one through a special city program, but only on five tonight, Susie Simel discovered some people are abusing it. Get away. Get. Get. Get away. They're the coveted few. Stop recording. Okay, okay I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna call my attorney right now. But they don't want to talk about it. Can you talk to us about it, Margarita? Owners of affordable housing in unaffordable San Francisco. Below market rate units or BMRs are specifically set aside for low to middle income individuals who are first time home buyers who also work in the city of San Francisco. Now there's no cap on gains. You can go on to become a millionaire as long as you still live in that BMR. And we found dozens of cases of people who are breaking the rules. She is listed, Margarita Popova. Unit 309 in this building on Potrero Hill belongs to Margarita Popova. No one answered the door. Instead, we found her out in the avenues at a nearly $1.5 million home. Neighbors say she's been living in this house for years. Still, she insisted otherwise. You still live on 18th Street? Yes, I do. But we found an ad on Craigslist asking for $3,100 a month to rent Margarita's BMR. You weren't renting it out? No. And you've never rented it on Craigslist? No. No answer either at this BMR condo near the Embarcadero. The owner here, Caroline Novak. We found her at a home she purchased for $2.25 million in the exclusive Redwood City community of Emerald Hills. We wanted to understand exactly how the system works for you guys because we've heard that you're supposed to live in the unit. I, I live there. You live there? Yeah. She too has been accused of renting out her BMR. So is this not your house? Um, I'm just staying here. You're just staying here? For a couple days, yeah. Then there's Amy Gusson, who also owns property in New York, Beijing, and LA. She was advertising her below market rate unit on New Montgomery Street on Airbnb for $149 a night while living in a multi million dollar condo she owns in the Millennium Tower. The amount of people that are misusing the system are so small. Maria so Benjamin is with the Mayor's Office of Housing that oversees the city's below market rate program. You know, we want to make sure that people understand and know that we are watching these units. We are monitoring these units. We will prosecute these units. This can't happen. The city attorney is prosecuting three cases involving alleged BMR cheats and has served notices of complaint against Amy, Caroline, and Margarita. Maria says it often takes a neighbor complaining for red flags to be raised. Without the BMR program, would you be able to live here? I wouldn't be able to live in California. I wouldn't be able to live in San Francisco, that's for sure. Never. Janet Lawson did complain about a cheating BMR owner next door to her years ago and nothing ever happened. With everything that's going on with housing, I was, I was really wondering, when is someone gonna notice this? She says at least two of the five BMR units in her building are not owner occupied, and that's just in her building. Is it hard for you as someone who's benefiting from this program in the way you're supposed to, to see people abusing it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Meanwhile, there's a waiting list of low-income San Franciscans trying to get one of these units. This happened for multiple years, in some of these cases, mm -hmm. more than a decade. Mm -hmm. How do you explain that not being caught? Sometimes it takes a while for it to come to a lawsuit. In San Francisco, Susie Steimel, KPIX 5. The Mayor's Office of Housing tells Susie that it's investigating approximately 40 cases involving misuse of those below market rate units.